Hey everybody, this is Praxis and this is my day today. Grabbing things from the third floor and bring them down to the first so they can all go into the pantry. I started this morning, uh, got the pantry all cleaned up, uh, you know, sawdust, all that kind of stuff. In fact, the sill plate up on the back wall of the foundation, that had never been cleaned since forever. That, that's the first piece of pressure treated wood that we put down on the foundation itself. First thing that we put down when we started building this place, that was all, you know, covered in all sorts of everything. So, got it all cleaned up and now, just doing trips up and down the stairs, bringing everything down. A lot of these are like 50 pounds or so. Uh, so it's a good workout, but uh, it's kind of tiring. I figured today would be a great day for it though, because while everything is done in terms of us uh, getting our inspections and moving in, uh, there are still things I want you know want to do, for, uh, you know, carpentry-wise, in order to make things you know nicer when we do move in, like you know putting trim around the windows, putting window sills in, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but today's not a great day for, for carpentry because it's it's snowing outside. I'm trying to keep all the, the saws and cutting out of the house, in, even out of the greenhouses, because even in the greenhouses there's a lot of sawdust floating around, it was getting into the house, and uh, you know, I've just been trying to do carpentry work outside. But snowing today, so this is a great thing to do today because it's gonna get these things cooler sooner and that'll make them last longer. Um, in terms of moving in, again, everything is technically done for the house, we're just waiting on inspections. Uh, it's just still just the plumbing inspection, smoke detector inspection, and once those two are done, the final inspection. Um, and we're just in a holding pattern waiting for those. I found out uh, just uh, yesterday that the reason that the plumbing inspection hasn't happened yet is that the plumber forgot to call them to tell them that it was even done, um, which is kind of a theme with this, <laughs> this plumber. I wonder if they'll mind if I forget to pay them. I'm, I'm not going to do that because uh, that's not my way. That might be their way, but that's not my way. Um, so I uh, reminded them, and then this morning again, reminded them, and if I don't hear from them today, I will call tomorrow and remind them, repeat, repeat. You know, because I, you know, we don't want it to just go out, you know, weeks and weeks and, you know, not be able to move in because they keep forgetting. Uh, in terms of the smoke detector inspection, uh, I don't know what the status is on that. I uh, sent a note out to the electrician who called that one in, asking if he's heard anything, because it's coming up on like two weeks that, you know, the person knows we're ready to be inspected and they haven't contacted anyone as far as I know and they haven't shown up. So, have they? No, they didn't sign off or anything. So, uh, so yeah, that's where things are on those. But I'm just going to keep calling because it's just those two inspections. And the building inspector, thankfully, has been really responsive the entire time. So I'm pretty confident that as soon as those other two inspections happen, I let him know and within a couple of days I'm sure he'll be by. And then we'll be rolling. But for today, I'm just carrying everything down in there. Everything fits really nicely. It's going, going all right. This is 50 pounds of pinto beans. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.